Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. It's funny. I'm just getting ready to edit the vlog that you're watching now and I realized that I accidentally deleted the intro from my phone and it's permanently gone. So this is the new and improved intro. But either way, welcome back to another Lego room vlog. I'm sitting in my office here where I do all my computer work now and Mrs. Brixie's downstairs working away on the amusement park and stuff like that. Throughout this vlog here, you're going to see the transformation of the Lego room. There's a bunch of stuff that we're going to be adding to it and changing up throughout this entire vlog, which is pretty exciting. I can't show you the state of it before this vlog because, ah, well, you know, I accidentally deleted the clip. But if you want to see the current state of it before we start making all of these changes, make sure you check out my last Lego Room update. Anyways, we've got lots to do because we're getting carpet, we're doing all sorts of stuff in this vlog and we're completely transforming it. And after this video, the Lego room is going to look the best that it's ever looked, period. Like it looks prime. It is Lego room in its prime. So let's get started. Now this is a carpet store. That is a lot of carpet. Holy cow. So now we went to the mall. We picked up some gloves because it's getting a little bit cold out. Just little thin ones, right? For the fall and then we got this desk organizer here or drawer organizer i guess and then more plastic containers for our parts just to keep them even more well organized we need more of them it seems never ending good old dollarama though so we finished up at end of the roll that's where we saw all that carpet wow definitely the best place to go get carpet we tried the other days at, at lowe's and at walmart didn't work these guys are going to make an exact carpet that we need like the exact size and also it's going to be binded also we got the underlay for it so it's going to be a little bit thicker nice and warm on the feet down there and i was reading comments on our last lego room vlog where we made all those changes to our desk area and paul said uh, why don't you get a little tv mount it to your wall so when you're reading chat off your laptop you can just connect it with an hdmi cable and extend your monitor and then the chat is going to be massive and easier for you to read plus it'd be nice to have a tv down there so we can I don't know, watch hockey games or watch uh, Disney Plus or movies or Netflix or whatever. Watch any sort of TV while we're building. So here we are at Best Buy about four minutes after Paul read off the comment because we were literally <laughs> like right around the corner from Best Buy because we were out doing this stuff and I read the comment and I was like, wow, let's go check out TVs and TV mounts. I'm sure you can get a small TV for very cheap. So let's roll in there. Well, everybody, a very quick decision was made and now we have a TV for the Lego room. Okay, so now we're home and we're in the Lego room. There's our unauthorized purchase. For sure didn't need that, but sort of wanted it. We're going to hang that on this wall right here so that can be visible in all spots when we're working from our build table and doing live streaming and stuff like that. Now, the first thing that we're actually going to be working on here in the Lego room on our new desk setup is actually platform nine and three quarters, just trying to rearrange it so it looks better and fits better into the current amusement park layout it's got like a restaurant and of course is the platform to board the train and we've got to redo that for now we just pop the tv on the table there we're watching uh, captain america winter soldier as we build our platform nine and three quarters i'm digging the new setup though look at all the space we have for building it's pretty magical and you know what? We can freely move around in this place and there's just so much space to stretch our legs. We just finished building platform nine and three quarters. We are loving the new workspace here. And we also temporarily placed it into the amusement park. We're working on some more details going around that. So we're loving the new space here. It's working absolutely fantastic. We're finding that we're a lot more creative because I'm sitting here and Jose's sitting over here. So we're sitting across from one another. So building that mock was like, we were both working on it. Ideas were bouncing off one another. It was absolutely perfect. Now we ordered the carpet this morning. And that'll be here next week, next Tuesday. And when that gets delivered here, we're gonna be making some more changes that are actually gonna accommodate this area even better. Uh, it just involves moving a cabinet so that we can fit these two build tables against this wall because if we move this cabinet right here down there and we put it over here you can see that these would go over there so we have more space it just needs like an inch so we have to make those changes whatever next week we'll do that um the tv we've got on the table here now we were we were contemplating mounting it somewhere in the in the room here 
Ideally, when I am building with Jose, we like watching TV. Actually, well, we haven't really done it in a long time because we didn't have a TV down here before, and we could never really sit there and look at the same screen because we had sort of like an L-shaped desk. But with this desk, we can watch TV. Now, the problem is, is we're thinking about mounting it. We're not sure if we should mount it there, which would be optimal for, um, for us when we're building together, or we should mount it here on the wall behind me where the lightsaber is. However, then we won't be able to see it when we're sitting in the position that we're sitting in now because this is gonna be our main build position because there's so much room for activities in here. So we, we have some something to think about. So then I got thinking to myself, like these, these tables here, they're not on the wheels yet. And even though they're not on wheels, they're super easy to move around. And when we get the legs with the caster wheels from Ikea, they're like $20 each or something like that, it's going to be super easy to move those around. And that TV, I swear to you, weighs like five pounds, 10 pounds. Maybe I'm just really strong, but it's very, I'm just kidding. It I'm not feels lighter than my purse. <laughs> it feels lighter than her purse, quote unquote. So now I'm thinking to myself, well, why don't I just get an extension cord, have that on the table, and then literally it can just move with the table. I know that sounds dangerous, but it's extremely light. And then I can have that table as a large monitor when I'm live streaming using the laptop, or I can have it as a TV uh, here when we're watching or when we're building, and then I can position it anywhere I want in the room. Whereas if I mount it to the wall, it's always there, and there's not really an optimal position that will accommodate all scenarios. Plenty to think about, and we're going to continue thinking about it for the next week in this vlog here because our carpet's not ready till next week, and there's no sense in moving all of these part bins moving all this stuff, getting it the way we like it, getting the carpet and having to move it all again. That doesn't really make sense. We may as well do it all when the carpet is here. Jose asked me today if it's time to throw out my Nikes. I'm like, what? Those things are in perfect condition. Look at that. Yes, yeah, so we just finished building platform nine and three quarters. I already got that video edited and uploaded. It's 9.30 at night. Now Jose and I are gonna continue working down there. Don't mind the computers being up here. It's a nice change of scenery, which is good. Gotta hang this picture here though. And maybe get another office chair. Both of ours are downstairs right now. These aren't bad though. I don't mind it. Got good posture in it. Pretty <laughs> good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna continue working down there and uh, platform nine three quarters is looking awesome. And it's all taken care of. Pretty sweet. Here we are late at night. Making trees for days. So our week of revolutionizing the Lego room continues. Today we're dealing with my junk drawers. Some people have like one junk drawer. Uh, Rixie has like 20 junk drawers. So <laughs> it is time to change these and reorganize them into our new drawer system over there. All right, so we fixed up these drawers here now. It's looking excellent. You got shipping, train, lights and labels, stickers, miscellaneous filing, bags, extra parts, base plates, and also road plates on the bottom there. And we're working on the amusement park now. Somewhat of a disaster in here. Had to pull out the modular table so we could actually access the amusement park. Lots of stuff is happening here. We got the dogs keeping an eye on us, making sure we're staying on point with our project. And look, we've used all these tables for all our parts and stuff. And we just finished watching Aladdin. Yeah, not bad, but look at all the space we have for moving around in here, right? Because we can put those tables wherever we want. So it's nice. This used to be such a tight gap. I don't know if you guys remember that, where this, well, my desk used to be right here. And that was the big heavy sit stand desk that has the big metal legs so it was really hard to move and you could barely sneak by in here but now with these moving tables we have so much more space it's excellent but yeah amusement park is coming along great guess we may as well do a little midweek checkup here still waiting on our rug and our ikea products but this is our first live stream where it's just both me and jose in the new setup so as you can see both our chairs fit there. We've got lots of space to go around. You can still squeeze through here. We could even move it closer to the parts. So this would be, if you wanted to have the setup with the parts as the background. Uh, yeah, so we got some space there. Of course, we've got the laptop and the TV is our dual monitor, which is nice. I think I'm gonna leave the TV on the desk because 
Once again, it's just so light. But yeah, just the other day we finished uh, building the amusement park. Looks great. We're really happy with it. The thing that I'm really happy about is this guy right here. Making a mess. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do like that Easter egg though. It's almost as good as this Easter egg right back here. Look. It's Donald Duck and he's on break. Uh-oh. Don't get seen by the guests. But yeah, it's uh, it's fantastic. The best the amusement park has ever looked. And also, we just finished uh, building our uh, Hogwarts Express, although I haven't motorized it yet. It's got the motor in it. I just haven't put the batteries in it yet and had it go uh, flying around the track. But yeah, there's a little uh, midweek recap. Lego room's looking prime. All right, so it's been a week since we started this video here, and we just got the phone call this morning that our new carpet is ready to go. So now we've got to get all of this stuff out of the way, make space for the new carpet, get that laid, and then put it back in the new position so it looks fantastic. As you can see, this is like our streamer setup right here. I was using that yesterday. But yeah, I can't wait to get that carpet installed. It's going to look fresh. Let me tell you, if I could do the worm, I'd do it right here, but I can't. There's so much more room for activities in here, but my feet are freezing cold. We need some carpet. It's echoey with all the stuff here, right? It's so echoey. Hello, hello, hello. Carpet and underlay acquired. Personally, I think we should just return the nice carpet and stick with this very colorful underlay. Not bad, but yeah. My feet are already much warmer with just the underlay, never mind the carpet. Well, Stella, we got the carpet installed. Hey, what do you think? Nice and cozy. Tico, nice and cozy? Definitely pretty nice and cozy. However, I think we made a mistake. Jose says we didn't, but I think we did. <laughs> or either that, the carpet store did, I don't know. I think we got it one inch too short width-wise. As you can see, a little bit of a gap against the wall there. And a little bit of a gap against the wall here. However, I don't think you're going to be able to notice that when we get all the stuff on the tables in here. I'm just noticing it right now because I was thought it was going to be perfect fit, but we're an inch short. Nice socks, Jose. Eh? But yeah, Stella's loving it. She obviously loves the flavor of it, too. Does that taste good, Stella? Why do you always look the carpet down here? Weirdo. Let's get some stuff back in place so we can do some work. All right, so now we got everything reorganized and inserted back here into the Lego room, into the studio. It's looking awesome now that we moved that cabinet to the right. It used to be on the left. We can fit these tables along the wall there. So if we needed two different working stations, we can do that. And once again, we're waiting on those caster wheels to come in stock at Ikea. And once we get those, it's going to be even easier to move those desks around so that we can have this table layout or desk layout in many different ways and it's just been working great uh, over the last week we got the tv there now if we want we can bust out the laptop out of the drawers there as you can see everything is labeled yeah it's perfect also all the other drawers are labeled too so this lego room is looking prime it's never really been this organized and efficient before we're super excited so i honestly don't think the lego room has ever looked better than this this is awesome i love this new desk layout i love this carpet the cabinet with all the stuff in it the moving desks also we've started working on some stuff underneath the table stay tuned for more on that once again we're at the mercy of ikea because we're going to be putting some new shelving and stuff under there and we're going to start creating our scenes and whatnot as well. We finished the amusement park last week. Built that castle the other day. The, that's the three-in-one double castle. Uh, now we're transitioning on to the far end of the Lego room. With the residential and zoo and beach and Ninjago and stuff like that. But honestly, just to get ourselves a nice workstation for Lego down here. And a nice workstation for video editing upstairs. It's been amazing. We're already feeling the inspiration. We're feeling, you know, like, I don't know, just the passion for building Lego and stuff like that. Not that we haven't had that the whole time, but it's just never spoke to me more clearly than right now with our wide open workstation here. There's just so much room for activities, especially when we throw three people down here, right? Me, Jose, and SMG, the uh, Brixie team. But yeah, let us know what you think of these changes. Glad we could take you along the journey here in this Lego room vlog. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thanks for popping by. Peace out.